Okay, in this curve we're going to go through sketching curves. Okay, so let's say they ask us to sketch this curve here. Y equals x minus 2, x plus 2, x plus 4. Okay, so we have an interesting graph here. Um, so what we do, we try to find out where this graph is intersecting. So first of all, you put when x equal to 0, so when x equal to 0, y is equal to, so that becomes just minus 2 in the first bracket, that becomes just plus 2, and that becomes just plus 4. So t minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, times 4 is minus 16. Okay? So that is where it's crossing the y-axis, so it's 0 minus 16. So we've got one point already. Now when y is equal to 0, we have x minus 2, x plus 2, x plus 4 equal to 0. So that means x minus 2 equal to 0, x plus 2 equal to 0, or x plus 4 equal to 0. So that means x equals to 2, x equals to minus 2, x equals to minus 4. Now remember, if if all these brackets are multiplying to zero, then either this one, this one, or this one, or all three are equal to zero. So that's why I'm getting these three points. So it's two zero, minus two zero, minus four zero. So we got all the coordinates. So let's try and plot these and sketch the graph. Okay? So we have x and y axis, x here, y here. So the first point I'm going to do is zero minus sixteen. So let's do it about here. Zero minus 16 okay and then we have 2 0 so 2 0 let's say somewhere here and then minus 2 0 let's say somewhere here and then minus 4 0 let's say somewhere here okay so there you go so you got your points so let's try and sketch it so it's going to go like that okay so it's going to go like that and like that there's your curve okay so that's your cubic function, okay? So in this particular case, yeah, it's turning right in the middle because there's two units either way, but if it is slightly longer on one side than the other, then it's going to turn on the longer side, okay? So that's how you sketch a cubic function. Now let's sketch a reciprocal graph, okay? A reciprocal graph is something in the form of y equals 1 over x or y equals 1 over something, basically. Okay, so let's have a look. So... So if you want to sketch y equals 1 over x, okay, there's a little bit of work to do still. Okay. It's going to be something like this. So it's going to go like there and there, but let's do a little bit of working before we go to the graph. So first of all, when x equal to 0, y is, e y is going to be 1 over 0, which is infinity. Okay, so that means x equal to 0 is an asymptote. Asymptote meaning the graph does not exist when x equal to 0, so it doesn't cross the x equal to 0 line, which is basically the y-axis. And when y equal to 0, so if I rearrange this equation and write x equals to 1 over y, you could just swap these two values. So 1 over 0 again, it will be infinity, so x is infinity. So when x equal to 0, y is infinity. When y is equal to 0, x is infinity. So that means x and y axis both are asymptotes. So, so the graph does not cross these lines. So just to make sure where this graph is going, I would just put in a point just to see. So when x equal to 1, let's say, you can put any number whatever you like. I'm just picking 1 because it's the easiest number. So y equals to 1 over 1 is also 1. So that means it's going through 1, 1. So point 1, 1, let's say somewhere here. So that means this graph is going to go like that, and it's going to reflect on the other side like that. And that is the 1 over x graph. Now let's sketch something else. So let's sketch a slightly complicated version of this graph. Okay. So let's try y equals 2 plus one over x minus one. Now you can see this is slightly more complicated than the previous graph. 
So all I need to do is find the asymptotes. So I can see if I make this 1, so 1 minus 1 becomes 0, so it's 1 over 0, so that becomes infinity. So when x equals to 1, y equals to infinity, so that's my asymptote. Now there is another asymptote in the other direction. So when y equals to 2, just try and match y with the number there, with the sign. So it's plus 2 at the moment. So if you make y plus 2, so 2 take away 2 becomes 0. So 1 over x minus 1 equals 0. There is no way you're going to get a 0 on the other side by dividing 1 by something here. So that means y equals to 2 gives you x equals to infinity. So that's your second asymptote. So I hope it's clear. If it's not clear, just try substituting y equals to 2 here and try and solve this. You will not be able to solve it. Okay? And also try when x equals to 1, you will again get the infinity there. So that's all it is. So now, since we have two asymptotes which are not the x and y axis, so that means this graph will cross the x-axis and the y-axis somewhere. So when x equals to 0, so y equals to 2 plus 1 over 0 minus 1, which is same as 2. So 1 over 0 minus 1 is same as 1 over minus 1, which is minus 1, so it's 1. So when x equals to 0, y is 1. So that means 0, 1. It's going through 0, 1. And when y is equal to 0, so you go 0 equals to 2 plus 1 over x minus 1. So let's take the 2 to the other side. So minus 2 equals 1 over x minus 1. Okay? So I can cross multiply. So x minus 1 equals 1 over minus 2. So x equals 1 minus 1 over 2, which is half. Okay? You can do your calculation. Okay? This is not difficult. So basically when y is equal to 0, x is equal to half. Okay, so we got that there. And uh, now let's try and sketch these points. So first of all, I just do my x and y axis. Okay, there you go. And then let's do these asymptotes to start with. So when x equals to 1, y is equal to infinity. So x equals to 1. So let's say somewhere here. Okay? So that's one of your asymptotes. So x equals to 1 is an asymptote. And when y is equal to 2, x is infinity. Okay? This is infinity here. So when y equals to 2, so let's say somewhere here. Okay? Just precisely, roughly is there. So this is y equals to 2 line. So, so you see what's happened here is your uh, asymptotes have moved in our original 1 over x graph. It was right in the middle, the x and y axis, but now it's slightly shifted. So now we just need to put these points. So 0, 1 is a point. So that's your y equals 2 line. So 1 will be somewhere here, 0, 1. So the graph is going through that point and half 0. So half 0, sorry, that was not the x axis. So this is where the point is, 0, 1, okay? And then half 0 would be here. Remember, this is x equals to 1 line, so half would be somewhere here. I'll just write it here. So this graph would go like that and like that, okay? So that's your y equals 2 plus 1 over x minus 1 graph, okay? So I know this is a bit complicated than the previous one. So let's just go through this again just to clear up. Okay, so we have y equals 2 plus 1 over x minus 1. And when x equals to 1, y is equal to infinity. And y is equal to 2, x is equal to infinity. If you can't get this direct, that's fine. Just work your way out and you'll get there. So once you've got your two asymptotes, and if they are not your y equals y axis or x axis, then you know the graph is going to intersect y and x axis. So here, we just need to put when x equal to 0, so y equals to 2 plus 1 over 0 minus 1. You work your way there, and you get the answer 1. So that means it's going through 0, 1. And when y is equal to 0, 0 equals 2 plus 1 over x minus 1. You again work it out. You find that x is equal to half. So that means it's half 0. And then you draw your x and y axis. You draw your asymptotes, which were x equals 1 and y equals 2. You just do dotted lines there for the asymptotes. And then you work your points, 0 and 1. 0, 1 and half 0, you mark them too, and then you can see the graph is going on that section and hence it's going to reflect on that side. Okay, so that is how you 
sketch a reciprocal graph. Okay, so I'll leave it there. And in the next graph, uh, in the next video rather, we will do some uh, translations with graphs. Okay, so I'll leave it there.